Right. My name is Raj in short. I'm here to teach you about uh, fish oil. I'm here to share some ideas on systemic inflammation. And uh, the topic, as you can see, is about fish oil, omega-3, as all of you know. Uh, it's about how it handles anti-inflammatory. I'm here to teach about um, what, how, and when does omega-3 work in your body. Okay. As you can see, it's best that you supplement yourself or eat fish or any supplementation of omega-3 uh, in the form of uh, seed oils. And it be it's best that you do before systemic inflammation gets to your body. And it's best that you do before uh, you reach the expiry date of organs which expires at different different uh, lifespan of your, in, in your body uh, because of uh, different different lifestyle and genetic predisposition. Okay, as you can see here, why must you eat fish or fish oil supplement? This is to prevent the onset of uh, dementia, coronary heart disease, autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis. And if you can see, the underlying um, factor of all these diseases is systemic inflammation. Now, systemic inflammation sounds like a very new term. Some of you must have heard of it. Some of you maybe have not heard about it. You, but I think you should know what is inflammation. Okay, let's see what is systemic inflammation. Okay, systemic inflammation basically means an inflammatory reaction to the body where your body do not recognize it as an acute, neither does it recognize it as going into a chronic state. It's an in-between state where your body does not recognize, you do not feel it, but your body is going through the whole process of inflammation and damage in the body. So today, what I'm going to talk, cover about is omega-3, anti-inflammatory. Uh, I'm going to teach you what is omega-3, what is the supporting evidence, how does it act as an anti-inflammatory agent, and how do you can get them, when and how much to take. Let's look at the, let's look what is omega-3 fatty acids. Um, it's essential fatty acids. It cannot be manufactured in the body. That's why it's essential. It's also known as polyunsaturated fatty acid. Okay, two most important uh, PUFAs that you have to know is, uh, sorry, uh, DHA and EPA. DHA supports the brain and the nervous system function, and EPA supports the heart and, and reduces inflammatory processes in the body. Now, look at the structure. This is for you to know. It's just for, it's good to know. Okay, if you can see the structure, sorry, can't get the pointer. All right, uh, if you can see the structure, look from the metal end. You'll see the carbon positioning. You have one, two, three. It's on the third position that you count that it will tell will determine that it's an omega three. Sorry, I'm only able to use the uh, pointer. Okay, for... okay. If you can see the carbon position, one, two, three. This is from the omega n, so that's why it's known as an omega three. On an omega six, you'll notice the position is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is how you determine on a structure whether it's an omega three or omega six. Now, in omega-3, you have an alpha lilolenic acid and EPA DHA. Now, human can synthesize other omega-3 fatty acids from ALA. ALA is considered as a plant derivative omega-3. EPA, uh, however, EPA and DHA are uh, marine-derived omega-3. Now, omega-3 fatty acids family, DHA and EPA, or, DHA and EPA are found in oily fish, cold water fish such as mackerels and salmons. EPA in small amounts are also found in eggs. DHA is found in animal organ meat such as uh, brain, kidney and liver. ALA is more of plant origin, uh, dark green leafy, leafy vegetables, uh, seeds and nuts. Now, this is a list of um, um, the amount of uh, omega-3 that you can derive from uh, oils that you can get. On top of the list is flaxseed oil. You'll notice one tablespoon gives you like about eight grams of uh, ALA, and uh, right down there is broccoli. Um, fish, 
which supplies, which gives you the source for EPA and DHA. You will notice right up there is herring, and right down there is cod. Now, why am I telling you all this? Is because you must be aware why omega three is very important to you. Because when you go back at the end of this uh, session, when you go back to your practice, you should be able to tell your patients, able to discuss what is omega-3 and you should be able to know how to prescribe omega-3 to your patients and also you should be able to tell your patients what type of omega-3 to buy and how to uh, get them. Now, studies have shown in all disciplines of medicine, you'll notice that um, omega-3 has been found to be beneficial in practical